What's up everybody? I'm Steven and this is Build Everything. Today I'm checking out a VR headset. VR being virtual reality. The headset I'm checking out is the HTC Vive. I previously checked out the Oculus Rift which is its main competitor. The HTC Vive is a little bit more of a thorough system in that it has motion controllers so if you're moving your hand in game it shows that you're actually moving your hands whereas the Oculus Rift is really just a headset. Now they are coming out with new controllers. I did not do them in my review. I did not get to use them so I don't know how they work in comparison but the HTC Vive came with the motion controllers so we're gonna check that out today. I do have my notes from my when I did review the Oculus so I'm gonna compare different aspects, the ease of setup which I'm gonna show you guys. I have not set it up yet so this is gonna be all new uh, we're going to check it out together, we're going to see how hard it is, we're going to see how my system handles it. My system's a pretty high-end system, but the video card I have is actually the minimum spec video card to be used with either system. So we're going to see how each system works with that video card, and whether it's underperforming or if, if the frame rate works well. So stick with me, let's see how quick we can get through this install and get into the game, and we'll see if it's worth your money. The Oculus Rift is $800, I believe it's $800 with the controllers, and the HTC Vive comes with those controllers at $800 as well. So I, I believe you can pick up the Oculus a little bit cheaper without the motion controllers, but if you want to do a direct comparison, you need those motion controllers. So it's right around the $800 price point. The system required, eh, you're probably looking at at least a $1,000 computer to be able to handle this. So it's not cheap to get into this and it is a new technology so I'm sure as technology advances this price will go down but that's what we're looking at today so stick with me let's get this installed let's get the game going and let's see if it's worth your money we're about to get started here I have the HTC Vive right here this is the headset pretty awesome I have the sensor stands which stand behind you and what they do is they motion track your body so in a game where let's say you're fighting or uh, you're in a gunfight or anything that really would want to track your body these will actually allow the game to understand what you're physically doing when you have the headset on so if you're you duck or something like that the game can actually pick up on that because of these sensors so before we get uh, started with the software install I wanna send out a big thank you to my buddy Rich who lent me this device to check it out but also to do the review for you guys. Uh, it's a pretty expensive piece of hardware, close to a thousand dollar piece of hardware, and uh, he just let me have it, which is pretty awesome that he did that for us. So, again, I want to say thank you, Rich, and let's see how this install goes. All right, guys, uh, let's get this started. So, like I said, I have no experience setting this up. I, when I did my review last time, I had no experience setting up the Oculus, so. I'm just going to do what anybody else would do and go to the website and hope that the software is pretty easy to find. So we're going to do HTC Vive and let's see what we can find. Let's do... Alright. Seems pretty easy. So according to this, it will take 28 minutes to get set up. That's pretty long. I don't think it took me nearly that long for the Oculus. I would say probably 5 to 10 minutes total, maybe. Now again, we are setting up the, the sensor bars and all that kind of stuff, so we'll have to see. Maybe that's a baseline number. I guess we'll have to wait and find out, but let's try and beat it. All right, you can't see this, but well, now you can. Uh, after the setup is finished, the setup took about mm, five, five and a half minutes uh, for the VR uh, software install to complete. And now it's connecting to Steam. Now, I don't think that you have to have Steam, but since I do, and I do have uh, VR eligible games on Steam, 
it's linking with that, and I think it's, uh, you know, communicating with Steam to let it know that there are, that there is a VR system in play here, so that, you know, if it needs to install anything to allow me to use the VR for those games, so... It keeps uh, sitting at 25 minutes estimated remaining. I hope that's not true, uh, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so it's saying six and a half, six foot five inches uh, above the ground, but it doesn't. I'm not seeing anywhere that it tells how far away they have to be from each other. So, it's hard to say. Uh, I guess I'll just put them up as far as I can away. And... It says facing the play area, so that should be pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I have the bars set up. They should be about six foot five. Looks okay so far. Looks like I have a green light on both. That's good. I'm not saying a channel indicator. Hmm. Looks good. B and C. Let's go. They're both green. That's good. All right, now we're gonna do the headset part. So let's see what this, how long this takes. So so far, I am about 14, 15 minutes into this. Uh, so it is looking like the time they said of like 25 plus minutes is probably pretty accurate. But uh, let's see how long this takes. Alright, so it looks like the link box is all plugged in, so now we're doing the final step, which, or at least what I think is the final step, just connecting the actual headset to the, to the box. Simple HDMI, USB, and some sort of power connector. Little barrel power connector, so that's all connected. One thing I didn't show you guys yet is the motion controllers which are these right here. I've never used them yet. They feel pretty awesome. So we'll have to see how they work too. I have two of those, and then I have the required hardware, I believe, or the cabling to uh, make them work. So, and that really is just, uh, looks like two power outlets with two micro USB cables, which is exactly what it says, or two power adapters. Uh, on the screen. So, found them. Okay, now it's, now it's trying to launch. Huh, first error. Steam VR errored. So I can't blame the Vive for that. I mean, technically they are associated with Steam, but I'm not sure what that error is. I did not have any errors when I was using the Oculus, so that's something to note. Um, saying headset not detected odd so let's uh I rebooted the the headset it is the first time so hmm now it's saying it failed interesting let's see if I can bring that over so you guys can see that keep saying failed I'm not 100% sure why it's doing that. You know, I didn't restart since I installed, so I'm going to go ahead and restart, and then we'll try this. Alright. We're back after a restart. Uh, we're ready to launch this. Now, when I turned on the HTC Vive dashboard after I went ahead and restarted, it instantly showed up, so it seems like that was the issue. It needed a restart. Unfortunately, it didn't show us that, which... It's kind of a fail on HTC's part. So now we're going to try to launch the uh, Steam VR, which, here we go. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it errors this time or if it loads right up. We're hoping for a loading right up. Up. Okay. That's okay. Hmm. 
I think we're going to do this one only because I don't have a huge area. I do have a huge area, but not set up right now for it. So we're going to do this. So this is telling me to set it down and measure the space between it and the floor, which I don't have a measuring tape with me, but I'm going to go grab one. So be right back. All right, I have the measuring tape. I'm gonna measure this to the floor and enter it below. So we'll see how far that is. Looks like almost exactly 20 inches. We're gonna enter that in here. We'll calibrate that. Ah, so that, that port on here is for headphones. The unfortunate part is my headphones actually need USB and 3.5 millimeters, so that's going to be an issue. So I'm going to sit on my chair here because I don't want to stand. And so we're going to see how this does. I'm going to throw on those headphones. All right, guys, I know this looks ridiculous, but I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So let's see how it works. I have my headphones set up here. All right, put it on. Let's see how it goes. Pretty cool. Right now, Let's go through I can each see of the controller buttons. these controllers in game. On the underside of the controller is a trigger in the, button. In the game, which is pretty Give awesome. that a squeeze. One thing I'm already starting to run into is the issue of my headset getting tangled, which is kind of a pain. I can't tell exactly where it's at because I obviously can't see it in the in here. Uh, so I gotta figure out something for that. Well, oh, this is turning into quite a party. That's crazy. The unabridged history of accountancy filing methods. I just need to fetch my notes. Uh oh. My batter is dead. much better now I did run into an issue I don't know if this is across the board with oculus where if I made a sharp movement you know turn my head really hard sometimes the, the, the headset would actually disconnect where it would it would kick you out and throw an error I have not had any issues once we got past the initial setup you know needing restart blah 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 this has that's been perfect it's so good so far the only weird thing I have with it and this is probably me not having the control uh, the instructions in front of me is the adjustments on the controller. There's a little knob on the bottom which does left to right, but I wasn't sure how to do front to back. And also, I was having trouble figuring out how to tighten the straps. Now, this is me doing it with the headset on. I'm sure I could have taken it off and done it. But I, I figured, you know, just see if it's in a logical place. And it took me a little bit to figure that out. Uh, but now, now we're okay with that. One weird thing is sometimes it's very clear and then other times it's not. And I'm not sure what that's about. When it's not clear, it reminds me of how the Oculus was all the time. Whereas this one, you know, I'm not really sure what it is. I'm adjusting the, the lens distance, the eye distance, and it doesn't seem to be making any difference. 
Not really sure why it's doing that. All right, guys. So I did a lot of stuff off camera just because it was a little bit difficult to uh, taxing on the system to record and, and do that. Uh, but what you did see kind of shows what we've done. Um, so to go through the review, when I used the Oculus Rift, it was just a headset. The issues with it were, I did have some errors. I would say the errors are about equal, except when I was playing with the Oculus, the system, whenever I would move sharply, it was almost like it was disconnecting. Now I checked the cables. There is an input on the top that you can plug in and unplug, and they were definitely tight. I even unplugged them and pushed them in all the way and tried again, and sure enough, any sharp movements, the game would disconnect and error out and close the game, and I would actually have to reload the game, and this happened pretty often, so it got pretty annoying. Besides that, when I played a game like Project Cars, that game ran smoothly as long as I didn't make sharp movements. It looked great on the Oculus. And when I say great, I mean great to somebody who has not experienced VR yet. So once I use the Vive, the visuals are almost the same, but I would have to give the edge to the Vive. It is clearer, uh, the tracking's better. But then on the other hand, you have to take up a lot of space. I mean, I don't know if you can see these behind me, but that little black box up there, that, you know, that's sitting almost seven feet tall. It's a tripod sitting on the ground, so it's taking up a lot of room. And you have cables running across the floor. I have, you know, what, six, seven different cables connected, you know, run across my computer desk here. Um... I have to run an extra headset because they didn't have one built in. You have to run your own. Uh, most headsets these days are not just 3.5 millimeter. They need an outside power source like USB plug. So, you know, to, to provide that 3.5 millimeter, it's almost like they want you to use like earbuds or something like that. Whereas anybody that takes, you know, that's really into gaming, generally they'll have a USB port because they want the amplification in their ears. So, and, and usually at the end of the headset, you don't have the separation for the 3.5 millimeter and the USB. Uh, I'll unplug mine. It's probably going to throw an error on the screen for unplugging it. But this is my headset. And you can see here, there might be hmm, 8 inches to a foot of separation before the cable you know, stays together. Now I could probably tear this down, but I don't want to. And the reason I would have to would be this would go into the headset, whereas this goes into my computer. So I need a good four feet at least. So I'd really have to separate this way down the line, and I don't really want to do that. And I imagine other headsets are like that too. So therefore I ended up plugging the whole headset into my computer, and that gave me an issue of having two separate cables run from my computer two different directions. So as I moved, I had to worry about both of them getting tangled. And if you noticed early in the video, I did. I got tangled pretty, you know, a lot with that. And so that wasn't that wasn't so great. For the pros for the Vive, we have the visuals look great. The movement tracking are great. The controllers are exceptional. They add an element to the game that I haven't experienced with Oculus yet. The new controllers for them could be as good, but I can't guarantee that because they don't have the you know the the sensors that are also tracking so, so that's an interesting point I'd love to get a, hand, a hold of another oculus with those controllers and see if I could do you know a part two comparison once I experience that side of it but just based off the headsets I got to give it to the Vive the Vive is a little bit clearer definitely able to handle my movements a little bit better and wasn't too bad setting up that is something I should note on the setup with the Vive was pretty rough with errors and step by step it didn't really tell me what to do it kind of just said like hey here's your box here's how it should be plugged in but it's not saying like step one plug this in right now step two do this it just says you know here's your headset make sure you know it you have all the cables this gets plugged into a USB port do you want me to plug it in now or are you just telling me that you know so and, and I'm not saying I need that hand holding, but I'm trying to review it from a perspective of you never know if you're going to have an eight year old playing this or an 80 year old playing this and, and you don't know what their technical level is. So you'd think that they would provide a little bit better instructions. And to be fair, 
it may provide those instructions in paper form when you buy it but again who's gonna follow that when they have an on-screen thing telling them what to do so that's a valid point I would have to give the ease of install to the oculus I feel like I was up in like five to ten minutes whereas this took me you know counting in the errors 30 to 45 minutes somewhere in that realm just the install at least 30 minutes and at the end of the day I was still getting errors when I was finished you know Steam VR was not doing so great having trouble getting connected couldn't go to the store so at the end of the day I gotta give it to the Vive even though the software on the Steam side is not so great or at least not so great with my iteration um, but I would love to revisit once I get my hands on some move controllers from the Oculus so we'll give it a temporary win to the Vive until we try out the other side and that's all I have for you guys so let me know what you thought if you've experienced the Vive what your thoughts were if you experienced the Oculus how it worked for you if you experienced any of the errors that I dealt with and of course like and subscribe comment below share it with your friends let's make this channel awesome I'll see you next time.